Hvis det skulle være lille. Hvis det er YouTube works, darling. You have to get with the program. Okay, go big or go home. I'm not going home, so I'm definitely going big. So if five, if a shower five, if five foot lock hits, <laughs> it takes you six rand. Me, I pay 20 rand to walk. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sinene, also known as Andrama 2000. For some of you, I personally like me to play on this account. If on this one, Sinene, then obviously we general access. So yeah, you mean I get a home kill? What touch does I think And yeah, welcome back to my channel. If you are a returning or regular subscriber, thank you so much for watching and coming back. If this is the first time, I hope you'll enjoy and I hope you'll decide to join my little family. Yeah, so please follow me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram as Andrama 2000. And yeah. I'm back, Kihutil, and this week we I will be sharing Uguti. How, how is it said in English? Things you need to know when you're going to an audition or how to prepare for an audition. Okay, so I'll try to make this as short as I can. Short as possible. Yo. <laughs> okay, first things first, you need to prepare. Obviously, that's I mean I feel like that's <laughs> yeah you need to prepare. So if you get an audition brief. Don't, don't take it lightly. Don't be like, okay, I'm the top dog ninja game. I'll no prepare. Sit down and choose a monologue, choose a script, whatever, and you know, actually rehearse. Um, rehearse for your family members, for your friends, and ask them to give you feedback so that you arrive at the audition or so sharp. Because someone once said, if you're going to go to, if you're going to go for an audition and you're not prepared, might as well just curtains, drop the whole thing, cut the cameras, and you're wasting your time. Okay, well. So in preparing. Choose a monologue. I would advise that you choose a monologue that is published. Uh, if you can, go for a South African monologue. If you can, if you can't, it's fine. As long as it's a published monologue, because normally that's what they ask for, really now. So avoid going for um, extracts from film or scenes or I mean, clampy or tattoo scripts that they import from the river. Avoid that. Go for a monologue that is published and is from a play. Number one. Number two, choose a monologue that you're comfortable with. Don't choose something as a I get that whole idea of getting out of your comfort zone, but it also depends on how much time you have to prepare. So if you have a lot of time, then it's fine. You can go for something that's gonna challenge you as long as you know you're good. By the time the audition comes, you are ready. If you saw the brief maybe two or a few days before the audition, don't bother yourself. Please go for something that you're confident in, something that's gonna show your talents and something that you won't regret yourself for performing more than a panic because you effed it up. Um, the next thing, normally when you go for an audition, they will ask that you either prepare a monologue or you will perform a script that you'll find there. I'm trying to speak as much English as I can because if I edit the neck, give it a more problem, then I have to add the subtitles and edit and I'm coaching because I don't know English, but also I think this is better than having to speak in the neck. Anyway, more figure la pana, they give you a script. My advice, stay away from the script. With immunology, it's something maybe you did in high school, maybe you've been doing since varsity. Immunology is something you have time to do, even if it's even if you just chose the monologue last week, but at least when I have time to rehearse the monologue and do the monologue and ask for feedback and 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 and. It's script, you are going to get it on the day of the audition. You arrive there, you choose a script, and in most cases a script dialogue. That means you have to work with somebody else who will choose from there. You need to have a partner. Remember, you can be a great performer or great actor, but the partner that you'll be paired with might not. You can both be great performers, but when you get there, maybe one of you has other nerves, all of a sudden you can't perform, all of a sudden things are going south, and the, the last thing you want to do to yourself is to get a partner, and then when things don't work out, you blame each other, because it's not even going to help. If you messed it up, you messed it up. So choose a monologue, come on, look, you want to perform it alone, you have no one to blame. If you messed it up, it's on you, no one else can take the blame. Also, with a monologue, you know your character, you've been doing this monologue since, since, since. Oh, I forgot one, 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 mo the most important thing. When you're doing a monologue, don't just extract that monologue, like the piece of monologue, play. read the entire play. If you read the entire play, you understand the character, you understand you, like what, what influences them to think the way they do, to act the way they do, you understand the relationship they have with their mom, their siblings, their boss, their lover, those things, you understand how they walk, how they talk, their favorite color, you understand everything about the character if you read the entire play. But if you're just gonna choose a part of the monologue, then there's a lot of things you are missing. 
and those things are going to inform the kind of decisions you make when you are actually performing the monologue so even if you are choosing a monologue please read the whole play don't just choose who have now that's the problem with the scripts you're gonna get there and you'll get a script that's in half you don't know the character you don't know where they were born what makes them think the way they do what makes them eat or chew the way you don't know anything about this character besides what is in front of you at the time and that's problematic because then you won't know how to decide on how to perform the character if that makes sense don't go for scripts just if you can go for a monologue i've been at auditions where they said if you if you have an acting degree or if you're currently an acting student then you are allowed to perform a monologue but if you don't have a qualification that's related to acting then you are forced to choose a script if that's the case then you have no choice but just yeah try your best to ace it and yeah but if you can please run away from the script please 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 go for the monologue another thing auditions are always packed always all the time so if an audition starts at nine if you can be there more seven at least you're gonna be there early and stand in the queue and nine o'clock comes you are the first to go in and you're done you can go and do other things other commitments other plans but if you're gonna arrive at nine on the dots already the queue has a hundred people and you have to do 105 or something like that they're still gonna go on lunch break it's hard you're standing outside yeah but in most cases there's no even the, you, you won't even have places to sit so you're just standing the whole time so arrive early prepare in advance so you can also prepare mentally to sleep and all of those things so you can wake up early and and, and. bring lunch if you know you get hungry uh, bring your umbrella sunscreen yeah charging things i don't think you're gonna have time to charge but just in case so you're not stranded and by the time you have to go home you don't know what to do now um i think i yeah i did give this tip last week but i'm gonna repeat it again even this week talk to people go my cues but also know when to give yourself some time to go over your lines and get, um, get yourself into character, get yourself in the moment. But if you can, spare a couple of minutes to network with other people. Trust me, those people are the ones who are going to plug you for other opportunities that you didn't know about and that you wouldn't have found out about if you didn't talk to them. So as much as you are, you are alone trying to get in the zone, alone trying to get in the zone, <laughs> Okay, yeah, but set aside some time to just, you know, speak to people and yeah, have confidence, get in there. It's nerve wracking. I won't even lie. It's the worst thing going for auditions. I, all the time I have to go for auditions, I feel dizzy. I want to puke and and and. Okay, yeah, so as I was saying, um, auditions are nerve wracking. You can, like, there's nothing you can do about it. Just find a way to deal with your nerves. Yeah, well, also remember you only have two to three minutes to show them that you've got this you're capable of getting the role so don't get there and succumb to your nerves <laughs> don't get there and yeah man i mean nerves are normal just find a way to deal with it i know some people drink anxiety tablets um before the audition so by the time you get there your nerves are a bit better some drink water some some do yoga but i don't know what works for you but you'll always have a man when you're going for an audition. So you can't say you don't want to go because you're nervous. You'll always be nervous. Even people who are already in the industry and are famous and, and, and they still get nervous when they go for an audition. It's normal, it's natural. You just have to find a way to deal with it so that it doesn't kawata you in the process. Don't get there and you know your lines, you've rehearsed everything, you know everything's good, everything's sharp. But when you get there, you are stuck, you are just stuck in your lens rest and you don't. Yeah, and you are stuck there and you are not talking and, you know, yeah, so find a way to deal with your nerves. Yeah. Okay, this is kind of unrelated, but I just want to share something that happened to me. I was on my way to auditions. That job, I hate job. The place is a scam. I was on my way to auditions this time. They were in Don Fontaine. So I'm from Cresta. I, I take a taxi to, to town, to Don Fontaine. I can't remember. Oh, to town. Because I got to MTN rank and I asked for taxis to Don Fontaine. My first biggest mistake was asking those, you know, those paras they that's then, you know. That was my first big mistake. I was still new in Joburg, so I wasn't sure what to do. And then I just saw some guy who was working at the rank who was telling people this is the line, you know. So I assumed how if he works at the rank, obviously he knows what I'm about to ask him. And that was flop number one. If you are in Joburg, please, number one, please know that nothing's for Mangala Day. If you ask for help, you will pay. Either with money or with your soul or with your body. But you will pay. Two, ask for, ask for help from people who are in uniform or who are dealing with exactly what you need. So ask taxi drivers, ask securities, ask. Don't just ask a normal passerby, stranger to help you because Utoi Sola. Utoi Sola like Nina. So I asked these gents where I can find taxis to Don Fontaine because that's where I'm headed. And it's like how? Hey Don Fontaine, he learned almost 
it's literally he said, I really don't know what's Don't even need to take a taxi, you can just walk there. I'm like, oh really? That's cool then. How do I walk? And he's like, okay, sharp. I'll cover you, I'll accompany you so we can walk together. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's so sweet. Are you being for real? Like, oh, it's just here around the corner, it's just to do. And then you are, you are there, but let me cover you. Okay, so we're walking, walking. It's early in the morning. We're walking, and he's a nice guy. We're talking. But I'm like, hey, why are we not arriving at the destination? Because we've been walking. You said it's just chopping. Now we did chop it, chop all, chop all. We are crossing robots and we are doing things. And I'm like, when are we getting there? And it's like, our sister, we are almost close, it's almost there. We walked, I think we walked for like 20 minutes or something. We walked and we passed some shady place with a lot of taxis and a lot of men. I think I was the only female there. Luckily, I was with him, so I felt kind of safe, Kanani, because I knew there's nothing. Well, I wasn't certain, but something in me told me they won't do anything if I'm with him, because I mean, he's from the streets, if you know what I mean. <laughs> okay, anyway. So we're walking, we're walking, and I feel kind of safe, kind of, you know. And then I, man, we finally arrived at this place, and he's like, okay, sister, there, there will be 20 rand. I'm like, how? Oh, oh boy. But you didn't say you are, you, you expect money, you said you are helping me, and he's like, how? In your right mind, you think I will drop my job there and accompany you to Don Fonten for free. Nothing, Somala, this is Jobek. Buy me a plate. I'm like, how much is a plate of food? It's like 40 rand, but for you, my sister, because it's you, I'll give you a discount, so give me 30 rand. I'm like, hey, okay, now I have no choice. I'm gonna give him the 20 rand anyway, because now he's walked me all the way, I have no choice, and his facial expression is changing now. He's no longer the sweet guy that was walking me the whole time. So I'm thinking, if I don't give him the 20 rand, he might take worse, he might take more. So I'm just like, hey, it's fine, I'm gonna give him the money. And then I give him the money, and then I go and I'm dishing, blah blah blah. And then later on that day, I find out that a there are taxis to come for him. He said there are no taxis going there because it's super close. Ne? Number one, there are taxis. Number two, a taxi is six rand. Me, I paid twenty rand to walk. <laughs> hey. I paid twenty rand to walk for 20, 30 minutes in the sun, scorching hot. I was looking pretty, my makeup melted. By the time I got to the audition, I'm tired, I'm thirsty, I'm hungry, I'm bent, I'm, I'm dark skin, all sorts of. Because homeboy said, Don Fontaine is here. So that's a tip. Wherever, if, even if it's not auditions, if you ask for help in your work, you know you're gonna pay for it. Okay, another thing, it's gonna happen no good when you go for an audition and you find celebrities there. Trust me, it is scary, it is nerve wracking. But there's nothing you can do. Just keep your composure, keep calm, and do what you rehearsed, do what you practiced. Don't try to get there and improvise and change your script. If anything isn't in the script, don't edit last minute. It's gonna screw you over. But yeah, also, um, someone once said, I think I was at a workshop or something, but they once said, don't be. Don't be intimidated by the fact that you are seeing big faces there and big industry people because it's an open audition or it's an audition, meaning everyone can come. If they wanted that specific or particular person, they would have emailed that person and asked him or her to come and audition. About well, the fact that they said it's an audition for everyone means you also stand a chance to get it. The only reason why you won't get it is because you'll see those big shots, big guns, and all of a sudden you're intimidated, you're forgetting your lines, you're scared, and, 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 and then, yeah, you, you mess things up. But remember all the time that the fact that they are in the dish in Kanyanawe, standing in the queue Kanyanawe, means you also stand a greater chance as them, as I will forget him. What am I saying? You also stand a chance to get the job, to get the gig. Also, auditions are sometimes unfair, and you'll see that. Um, sometimes you'll stand in the line for the whole day, and also bonus a come and jam up poses in just a game and they won't stand in the queue. I'm a security team, so we get up a barricade and stuff, and you are standing in the queue. You've been there for the whole day, but they just they just arrived, but they're already finding their way inside. There's nothing you can do. You can get mad and, and curse and shout and 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 but remember all of this energy you're giving yourself for getting mad is what I So by the time you have to go perform, you are still mad, meaning your performance won't be as good because you are mad over things you can't even control. You're mad over things you won't change. So, ah, uh, just let it go, man. Just je wusa, calm down. Basom genela, it's it's part of the pro. Unfortunately, the game is unfair. It has no rules. It has, you know. But sige, when I just go there and protect your peace, so that by the time you get there, you are fine to audition. Also, try to be on time all the time. In fact, don't even try. Be on time because you need to give yourself some time too. 
come down and yeah, well, now if you arrive late and you arrive just two minutes before you have to get in or if you come to the audition and you register and then you go somewhere and by the time you come back it's, you just you just have to get in that's not a good idea because you are still you're still in a rush man your blood pressure is high you are still yeah but well, you need to cut you come down you need to give yourself some time to breathe and yeah well, because now getting in there and you're spoiling things for yourself but yeah otherwise you'll, you'll, you'll be okay you do good most probably your first audition will suck like you yeah it will suck if it's the first one but it's fine it's normal it's part of the journey second time around it's gonna be better trust me also according to my experience i found that um coming from okay being a drama student i need to do theater at school so theater obviously is big exaggerated facial expressions are bigger than tv the very first audition i did when i got to joburg they asked me are you a dramatic student are you used to theater and i'm like yeah like you can tell because now you're exaggerating everything you are kneeling down you're standing up you're jumping and there's no need this is camera it's different from a theater so you need to train yourself or if you can be trained at school or attend workshops or and stuff like that so that by the time you get at an audition for the camera you are actually able to differentiate between that and an audition for theater and also try to have hobbies because I was once asked in, a, in an audition if I'm dating or not and I'm like no I'm single and they're like yeah we can tell you are disconnected from the character because the things you're doing right now are, it's not things that a person in a relationship would normally do or would normally say so Jola, <laughs> have hobbies do things go out because if you are disconnected from the character we can tell because you're not used to umjolo so you're coming here and you're performing something that's off off script because you are doing something of your own because out do it so yeah just have hobbies go out do things and yeah sharp, but that's it but yeah i think i've mentioned everything i wanted to mention about auditions but the most important thing is to prepare 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 otherwise just don't go if you feel like you're not prepared don't go it's fine auditions are always there you can catch the next one but yeah stay hydrated it's hard to like bring a water and 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 I think I think I've listed everything I wanted to. Yeah, but auditions are always packed, so please know that you need to be patient. You need to stand in the queue. Sometimes we stand in the queue for the whole day, and they'll say they'll have. Oh, I've, I've once went to an audition. I think it was in Brown for Mother Love. Yeah, it was really really packed. So the audition um, took place over two days. I think it was a Friday and Saturday, something like that. I arrived on the Saturday, and then it was still packed. But luckily, I got a chance to get in, and then I sat outside and waited for some people to finish so we can go together because we were going in the same direction. And then they said at five they are cutting the line. So if five, if we shall five, if five o'clock hits. <laughs> If you shall five and you have an audition, then you won't audition, you just have to go home. So it, it is possible that you stand there the whole day, standing in the heat, blah, 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 you're hungry, you're standing, but you still won't get in because if they say it's time to go, then it's time to go and there's nothing you can do. It's sometimes better if the audition takes place over a, a couple of days because you know if you missed it today, you can still go tomorrow. So if you can, just go on the first day so that if anything happens, you know you have a chance for the following day. If the audition is only for one day, then go early in the morning so you can get in and go and you don't have to. Because it's annoying standing there. It's not a nice thing to just spend your whole entire day in the queue standing. Come out. King, king, come. Okay. Standing there by your two feet. <laughs> and by the end, I mean at the end, they, then they say you can't get in. It's annoying. It's not nice. So just wake up early, go there, get it over and done with and bounce. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a huge thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. Please, <laughs> please, tell people, please tell people to subscribe to my channel. And yeah, I'll see you again next week when I upload another video. It's a surprise this one. You'll see when I upload it. But uh, please follow me on social media. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching and for subscribing. I love you. Peace out. Bye. How about that,